Hello, my name is Matthias Fuchs. I'm a game artist and a critical theorist from Manchester in England. And uh, what I'm thinking about at the moment is of whether this notion of cyberspace making everything more internationally available and disseminating throughout the world would maybe have another side to it, which I call cyber provincialism. And that is the fear that in the end, virtual environments might look much more like uh, Amstetten and St. Pölten than New York and Tokyo. And this is, of course, an opposed idea to what internationalism once um, uh, emphatically announced to us, where they said, well, you can be everywhere in the world. You can have the best of Moscow and of the Seychelles and of Paris and of Rome and of London. And now if we look into the virtual environments, we recognize that the garden gnomes and the ducks on the pond and the little petit bourgeois cliches are all assembled in these fantastic virtual worlds. And that is what I call cyber provincialism. Uh -huh. Are there negative side effects of this? Because I, on the other hand, you could also say, okay, um, Birds of a feather flock together, and mm. at least it's happening on an international scale. So it's kind of like the tribes, no matter if they wake up in Japan or in, in Austria, if they're interested in like fuzzy little gadgets, they meet, even if it ends up being a stammtisch of yeah. cyber gadget freaks. I think there could actually emerge such a thing like an international stammtisch and an international <laughs> tiny little railroad association Facebook. which <laughs> Facebook and <laughs> things like that, yeah. Uh, but um, are there drawbacks in this cyber provincialism? Like, I don't know, is there racism or nationalism? Is it being repeated and the same patterns uh, emerged as they do in, I don't know, Amstetten? I think that this is a breeding ground for quite unadvanced thinking and, uh, and action and that in these discussions that take place in environments which are strongly influenced by cyber provincialism, there is a, a, a nest almost or a, a, the, the, the warm atmosphere from the countryside to grow um, reactionary thought. Uh -huh. And what, personal question, as the role of the artist in this what, what is the possibility for an artist to intervene or to do something about it? Or? I think the role of the artists would be to cast a critical glance on it, to make fun of it, to either emphasize it to such an amount that it becomes ridiculous even for the provincialists. So you would have to extend the garden gnomes to gigantic sizes so that they become Statue of Liberty. <laughs> but, uh, or the other way would be to um, make in, um, interf um, to interfere with that and try to um, sabotage provincialist uh, things. That depends on, the, on your political flavor and, and, and style. <laughs>